Hello, hello. I'm back. <laughs> oh, boy. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, February 12th, 2023. Jeff Deloach, J.D. Nyjah, to you Israelites, believers, welcome. <laughs> oh boy. Really? Wow. Brave, aren't we? You fucking... Anyway. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> All praise is honor and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, Yehovah, Yahweh, the Tetragrammaton, <laughs> Yahweh, Vave. <laughs> Uh, I've been fighting with people over the name. I've been fighting with people over the spirit of the heavenly host, our Savior, Jesus Christ. I've been. F we are in a spiritual battle, people. And the one today. <laughs> oh, gosh. Salakia. So, pardon me. Oh, damn. You know when I see people doing what it takes to get in shape? I get... I get shook up. I, I need to get in shape, but I... After this, I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to definitely... I walk every day, but I just don't... I don't get sweaty enough. I just saw a guy run by. He's like... Oh, she's so cute. Thanks for parking next to me. You're so cute. <laughs> I still want a woman, but I'm scared to death. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> the book of Samuel pretty much tells you if you want to, let me turn this down. If you want to understand the house of Saul, the house of David, the, um, the bonding of the two tribes. I mean, it's not, it's not hidden. It's not, it's not parable. It's not, <laughs> it's not mysterious at all. It's probably one of the most straightforward books in the Bible. First and second Samuel. It speaks straight English pretty much. If you know what do they call it? It's the um the law of first mention. So you get you start at the beginning Genesis and it it starts saying things. And it mentions something. And then it mentions it again. The Bible is an integrated message system from outside this time domain. It's an integrated message system from outside this time domain. So when you look at the Bible, the first and last, that's what he's trying to get you to understand. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. The first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, is the law of first mention. You look at that and you see what the context is. And then all the way through the whole Bible, you can rely on that law of first mention. I'm teaching you things about how to study your Bible. So when you see shoulder, when you see grain, when you see bread, when you see head, authority, shoulder, governing, the government will be on his shoulder. When you see bread, that's the bread of life. The, the word is feeding you. Eat the bread. Eat the whole roll. Rolls are made out of bread. Water, the ever-flowing water is the spirit of water. Do you understand? These are the things that you have to understand before you can really understand the Bible. You got to understand the law first mentioned. So when it when you read it later in the book, it comes to you like that. And that's what I'm 
trying to teach in these lessons is not only scriptural truth, but how to find it yourself. It doesn't do you any good if you have to sit here every day and listen to me without going into it yourself. You're, I mean, it'll work, but you have to be here every day. You'll be like, okay, boink, boink, boink. It'll be like a ping pong ball. I'm hitting it back and forth to myself against the wall. But you need to get on the other side and start hitting it back to me or against the wall yourself. So anyhow, we're talking about the anointing of Saul. The house of Saul, the house of the inheritance, the captain of the inheritance. Still, still, it's not going to go away, people. It's just going to get more and more intense. And these house of David boneheads that think that the tabernacle of David is the whole story and that the house of Saul is some lost Atlantis that sunk into the sea, never to rise again. They're out of their fucking ne Negro minds. No one, no one that knows the Bible believes that. And no one. I mean, you could get you could get a Sunday school kid and, and give him the book of Samuel and then ask him, so what did you learn about um, King David and King Saul? Uh that they were fighting a lot, but they were actually in the end they they were together. It's not, it's not. It's not hidden, people. News of Saul's death. Now, it came to pass after the death of Saul when David was returned from the slaughter of the Amalekites. And David had abode two days at Ziglag. It came to pass on the third day. Behold, a man came. This is where the man comes and says he killed. He got the armor because he saw Saul and, and Jonathan killed. They were going to get killed, so he, he killed them. Um... Saul leaned upon his spear, and lo, the chariot and horsemen followed after him. And when he looked behind him, he saw me and called unto me, and I answered, Here I am. And he said unto me, Who art thou? And I answered, I am an Amalekite. And he said unto me, Stand, I pray thee, upon me, and slay me, for anguish has come upon me, because my life is yet whole in me. So I stood upon him and slew him, because I was sure that he could not live. After that he was fallen, and I took the crown that was upon his head, and the bracelet that was on his arm, and have brought them hither unto my Lord. So the guy kills him, kills Saul. Grabs the crown, grabs the bracelets, grabs the jewelry so that David would know Saul's dad. Here, look, I got the crown. I got the jewelry. But what's David do? He kills the guy because he killed Saul. And David took hold of his clothes and rent them. And likewise, all the men that were with him. And they mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul so when you look at evening, you got to remember Benjamin is about the whole day. His blessing from his father was Benjamin is as a ravening wolf. He wakes early, 6 a.m. He wakes early. He hunts at noon. These are Jewish. These are Jewish realizations here. These are things that, that pertain to the Jews. They worship at 6, 12, and 6. Bink, bink, bink. Benjamin wakes early, hunts at noon, and brings the spoil back in the evening. Why is it evening, people? What's even? What's even mean? It's balanced. Lord loves a balance. When does Benjamin bring back the spoil? When everything gets evening. So what's it say? And David said unto the young man, wait, and they mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and for Jonathan, his son, and for the people of the Lord and for the house of Israel, because they were fallen by the sword. Does the house of David not like Saul? They, went, they cried all the fucking day. Spiritual life lessons, you fucking nincompoops. How, how can stupid people teach the Bible? That's what I want to know. How can stupid ass backstreet Sesame Street Muppets teach the Bible? How dare they? 
Thank God no one listens to them. People should be listening to me if they listen to them, but we are of the least of the tribes. Least of the tribes. What to say about um, our Lord Jesus, he came out of Bethlehem of Frata, the least of the tribes of Judah. Same story, people. These guys are out of their minds. <sighs> Let's just read the Lamentation for Saul. It's a song that David wrote. Who wrote all the Psalms? Most of them. Who was the king of the, um, the harp and the lair? Who, who was the one that sang? House of David. He tamed Saul with the with the harp. David hated Saul, right? David, uh, House of David hates Saul. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Your ignorance precedes you. Black Hebrew Israelism. The Lamentation for Saul. And David lamented. This is 2 Samuel. First chapter of 2 Samuel. Verse 17. A lamentation for Saul. What is it? It's a song. It's a crying. It's a weeping. What's lamentation? Weeping. And David lamented with his lamentation with this. Let me get it straight. Let me get ready to read here. And David lamented with this lamentation over Saul and over Jonathan, his son. They call this the song for Saul. Also, he bade them teach the children of Judah the use of the bow. Behold, it is written in the book of Jasher. We shoot arrows, man. We were masters of arrows and slings. Is that for real? That means we have strong we have strong arms. We have the arm of the Lord. Who's Benjamin? Let's go into some of the things Benjamin is. His mom called him Benoni, son of my sorrow. Who's the man of sorrows? Jesus Christ. Let me say it again. What did Rachel, Benjamin's mother, call Benjamin when he was born? Son of my sorrows. Who is the man of sorrows? Jesus Christ. Click, click. She looks really uptight. She needs some, <laughs> she needs some dick. <laughs> I'm such a dick. Such a Bible dick, right? But what, what did Jacob... What did Jacob say? No, 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 no. He's the son of my right arm. Jacob called Benjamin the son of his right arm. That's what Benjamin means. Son of my right hand. House of Saul is GMS. Bullshit. Fucking... Find us with those jackholes. Please. Come on, sir. <sighs> the beauty of Israel is slain upon the high places. How are the mighty fallen? The beauty of Israel is slain upon the high places. Who's beautiful? Benjamin. Who said it? David. Who's the beauty of Israel? Benjamin. Who said it? David. Oh, <laughs> GMS. Oh, Bernie. Oh. The word for the day is stupid. The word for today is stupid. GMS is stupid. Tell it not in Gath, publish it not in the streets of Ashkelon, lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice, lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. What's it saying? What's David saying? 
don't talk about Saul's death because people like GMS and people like Bert and Ernie are going to be rejoicing over it. This is this is this is the song that David wrote for Saul. You dumb ass. This is Old Testament. These guys don't know their own book. Let's continue. Ye, the mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew, let there be no rain upon you, nor fields of offering, for the shield of the mighty has been vilely cast away, the shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. Crack. These guys are getting their heads cracked to the white meat, but no one's going to push my videos. No one wants to know the truth. Come on, man. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Get on Get on board the truth train. The truth train is leaving the station soon, and you better be on it, people. I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> I'm not the one that's going to beg you into the kingdom. I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to give you the truth, and either you're going to accept it or not. <laughs> I got to have fun with this, because otherwise I'll just get all upset, and I don't want to be upset today. Go Philly. One more time. For there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away. What's it say about vilely cast away? Um, defiled. You... You black Hebrew Israelites are defiling the the beauty of Israel. You know why? Because you're anti-Israel, you're anti-Christ. GMS, Sakari, IUIC, IUIC PK, um, Sakari, Sakhardi, devils. Why do you Negro people let these people run wild and why are you joining them that's even the bigger question why are you joining in this demonic um family let's continue <laughs> the shield of saul as though he had not been anointed with oil we already went into that right why why was he anointed with oil aren't you the desire of the whole house of israel isn't the house of saul the desire of israel Come on, sir. From the blood of the slain, from the fat of the mighty, the bow of Jonathan turned not back, and the sword of Saul returned not empty. What is that saying? In the evening, Benjamin returns with the spoil. Hunts in the morning. Takes his prey at noon. Brings home the spoil in the evening. What did, What's that saying? He's... The wolf returns at even. The wolf returns at evening with the spoil. GMS. They won't put up my videos. They will not put up my videos. They will not get in line. Saul and Jonathan were lovely and pleasant in their lives, and in their death they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than lions. Stronger than Judah, baby. Stronger than lions. Benjamin's stronger than, than Judah. We are the we are the host of the Lord. We are the we're the we're the governors of Judah, people. Benjamin. Governors. On the shoulder, we are the governors. Read it. Find it. Study it. Believe it. Don't doubt it. Ye daughters of Israel, weep over Saul. Who clothed you in Scarlet with other delights. Who put on ornaments of gold upon your apparel. Hey. 
How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle, O Jonathan, thou wast slain in thine high places? Why the high places, people? Because Benjamin walks, Benjamin went into the darkest places. Benjamin Benjamin could shoot arrows and sling stones from either side, right, right hand or left hand. So when it says the high places, the high places is where there was wicked worship. We've seen it all. I'm an anomaly in this place. I'm as wicked as the next. I'm more, I've seen more wickedness than you can imagine. That doesn't mean that we're wicked just because we witnessed it. Just because we stepped in the shit and we got it all over our shoes doesn't mean we are shit. Benjamin sacrificed over and over and over again. That's why we have shit all over us. And we're getting shit on by these fucking punks. Disgusting. Disgusting. Vile. I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant has thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. Do I have to, how many times, how many, how many times do I have to do this? Why aren't you, why aren't, why aren't you Israelites? Why aren't you believers? Um, that, I mean, especially the ones that are Barak Yahweh, you people that are, came over from GMS or, or understanding that I need some help, man, bro. Like brother, I don't know. I forget your name. You, you just joined up. Why don't you just. Talk on video. You don't need to put your face. Say, I'm a family man and I believe JD Nyjah. And I believe that Benjamin is the story. It's not Judah, people. The Lord's just sitting there waiting for, for people to go, follow Benjamin, man. Follow Benjamin. The house of Saul's, come on, sir. Unbelievable. Oh, daughters of Israel, weep over Saul. What is David saying, you dumb ass? GMS, Sakari, black Hebrew, ignorites, ignorites. I like that one. Black Hebrew, ignorant, ignorites. How the mighty have fallen and the weapons of war perished. That's all I got. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting all the blessing. You guys don't realize I'm, I'm collecting all. I'm collecting all of it. I'll give it back when we get there. Some of you are going to deserve a lot. I'm collecting all of it. How can that be? How can I be collecting so much? It's amazing to me. I'm collecting so much treasure. The Lord is blessing me over and over again because I'm standing up for the truth. He loves when the Heavenly Father loves when we stand up for our Savior, our big brother. Our big brother came as a weak, soft, loving, considerate, compassionate man. Who's got the weapons of war to defend him? Benjamin. Until he comes back, who's standing up for him? Benjamin. I don't see Iskar doing anything. Where are they? They're the closest. Judah's just off their hook. All right, I got. I'm gonna go. Go Eagles. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Enjoy your day. 
Hope you understand what's going on here. This is a spiritual war. We're coming, we're coming up to some harsh times. This is like the end of, this is probably, if this isn't the last Super Bowl, oh my God, if we have to go another year of this nonsense out here, California needs to break off and fall into the sea, I'll tell you. This place is wicked. Holy weird. Holy weird is going to be destroyed soon. It has to be. The Lord cannot, he, he'll have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. If he lets us go on much longer. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, I'm out.